Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Skyrim. What are we going to do? Let's take a look at our quest list. Well, we've got one called Heart of Gold. We've got one here called Caught in the Rain. I think this is the one we're going to do, I think. I have read the second volume of Fishing Mastery. All of the fish I need to catch are most easily caught when it's raining in the warmer parts of Skyrim. Catfish and spadefish can only be caught in lakes, while pygmy sunfish are found in streams. Pearlfish can be caught in both lakes and streams. He swims in deep waters, also asked me to help fish up his lucky fishing hat, lost at a fishing spot west of Sarathi Farm. He claims that it rains whenever he wears the hat when fishing. Oh, okay, so that's how we get it to rain. We put on the hat and it'll rain and then we can catch these fish. That sounds far-fetched, but I suppose I could use all the luck I could get. Uh, we need to obtain a spade fish, which we've already done. We need to obtain a pygmy sunfish, a pearl fish, and a catfish, which we've already done. We've already read Fishing Mastery Volume 2. We've already read the list of rainy f rainy weather fish. And then we need to fill f f uh, fish up his hat, which I believe... Um, well, I can't see it in this building. Maybe I could see it if I leave this building. Uh, honey, I'm going fishing. Out the door we go. And we'll, we'll leave Riften too. And then we'll look on our map to see exactly where we're going. Okay, let's see. Um, go out this way. Out the front gate. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? <laughs> Who's bothering who, pal? Um, I am going the wrong way. There we go, going this way. Okay, got a little turned around there. It's very early in the morning. Kind of groggy. Haven't uh, shook off the fog yet. The fog of sleep. Talking about my character. He just slept 10 hours at the end of the last episode. Okay, beautiful day. Beautiful morning. What else happens? The gods will always be grateful for everything you've done. Uh huh. So now, if we look at our quest list and then we look at the map, well, it's still not going to tell me anything. What the heck, man? Thought it did. Uh, we need to go here. So we could take this road. There's really no convenient road to get over there, is there? I mean, unless I go south and take this path again. But maybe we just have some fun and just cross the countryside, you know? Maybe we just do that. Let me put a marker here. And we'll just walk, just beeline it over there. I don't know. Who needs roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. I wonder if we should offer discounts to the soldiers. The soldiers? From which side? The storm cloaks Mike of the is always in search of calipers. One or the other is bound to win the right. war. This guy's very chatty. Let's go for a walk. Let's take an early morning walk. Probably getting some uh, dew on our boots. That's okay. Soon the sun will be up. It'll dry, dry off our boots. I'm going to try to keep an eye on my compass to see if uh, any previously undiscovered locations show up. It could happen. Maybe this little fox will go for a walk with us. Two foxes out for a walk. Mountains off in the distance there. Need to watch my step. I could step off of a cliff. Uh, somebody's got a fire over here. What's going on? Is this just a hunter? going on down here? Hey guys, how's it going? Can we be friends? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Yeah? What about you? It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. No. Y'all can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Boy, his eyes are dreamy, aren't they? Look at those dreamy eyes. It's over here, a book. There's enough for all of us if you aren't greedy. The Gold Ribbon of Merit. It's not glowing, so I'm going to assume I've read it already. I kind of like traveling alone. 
no companion to complain about the weather or make the same comment 50 times over. Uh, let's see, what um, what shout do I have equipped? Do I have Kind's Peace? I don't. There we go. I'd like to equip Kind's Peace because I think I saw a bear up ahead. It's actually like an icon on my compass that I looks like a little hut. So maybe there is something out here we haven't seen before. That's exciting. I'm excited. Oh, look at this. He took a little bite out of me. Just a little, just a little nip. What's this? One of those dragon spawn points. Oh man, there's more bears over there. I'm not ready to do Kind's Peace again yet. I need a moment. Well, bear, it's not your lucky day. Oh gosh, there's a lot of bears out here. Yeah, get out of here. It's like swatting a fly. Did you not just see what happened to your friend? So the other guy was a cave bear. This is just a regular old run-of-the-mill bear. You carrying any gems on you or anything, bear? No. Nah. What about you? Nah. Sometimes they do. Don't ask me how. Sometimes they do. Maybe like they eat a person and they like eat the person's hand and the person's hand has a ring on it or something. Could happen. So yeah, look, there's a, there's a icon on our compass indicating a new location that we've never visited before. Can't wait. Let's take a look at where we are on the map. Yeah, look at this. Look at this big wide open space here. Of course there's something here. A little, a little hut or something. Oh. Okay. Uh, Redwater Den. Hey, there's somebody sitting here. Got a copy of Battle of Red Mountain sitting here. Nice iron war axe and a tankard. She's just sitting here warming herself by the fire. What's your name? Redwater Lookout. What do you, uh... What are you uh, looking out for? Oh gosh, don't look at me like that, jeez. I got nothing on me. If you're looking for skooma, head on downstairs. Oh. <laughs> okay, she's the receptionist here. If you're buying, go on in. Otherwise, shove off. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if we can find this downstairs she's talking about. Ooh, neat. Oh, wow, check this out. Let's go into Redwater Den. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to us down here. Neat. All right, something new. Check it out. Hey, what's up? How's it going, man? Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in and behave yourself. Oh. Okay. Head on in. Well, I don't want to see what's in here. There's a chest here. There's a sword here. There's a sword over here. What is that noise? People coughing. Go on downstairs. You're bothering me. Oh, okay. Sorry. Look at this. Some chairs out here. So we found a skooma den. Oh, thanks. I don't believe we've seen you here before, have we? No, you haven't. You can buy from me, then join any booth you'd like. Buy from her, then join any booth we'd like. She's got some... Oh, why did I switch to third person? Seem tense. Weird. Join a booth and relax a bit. Or did you need another fix? What's up, dealer? Um, what is this place? <laughs> Wait, you're serious? This is the Redwater Den. Purveyors of the best skooma outside of Balmora. Okay. Um, what's so special about your skooma? The secret is our mystic Redwater Spring. The magic in the waters opens the mind to experience skooma in a way like never before. Mm-hmm. Hey, can I get a sample? 
Since it's your first time, sure. Find a booth and enjoy. Okay, we just got some red water skooma. Some empty skooma bottles there. So what's so special about this skooma? Red water skooma report restores 50 points of stamina. I mean, it doesn't look like it does anything bad. Oops. I wanted to zoom in on it. But um, sometimes it acts all wacky and I don't want to click on it because then I'll use it. Whatever. You seem to join a booth and relax a bit. Harvest salmon? Need another fix. Okay. Uh, cool. It's neat that she's in that cage there. Well, there's a lot of coughing going on in here. What's up, bandit? This person is busy coughing up a lung. Hey, what's up? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Need something. Huh? I guess not. <laughs> so much coughing. What's up, nobleman? You there! Bring me another bottle of skooma. Wait, who are you? You look like fun. Pull up a seat, friend. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, there's really no place for me to sit. I guess I could sit on the bench. He said we look like fun. I'll take that as a compliment. Dwemer plate and a bunch of empty skooma bottles. What's up, addict? I'm gonna search the addict? She dead? I guess. Look at this weird ass place we just found. This is so weird. Imperial deserter. You're that one from Helgen. I barely made it out of there myself. I hurt my back and I... I just need something for the pain. Wow, he remembers us... Oh, he remembers us from Helgen. I ain't in the mood to talk. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, what in the world? Look at this place. I don't want to know what goes on in here. Puke buckets, I guess. Door here. Maybe this is where the uh, the dealer lives. I'm super curious to see what's back there, but this attendant will see me if I do anything. Probably. Empty skooma bottles. <laughs> so much coughing. Gosh. Listen to all the coughing. Oh, there's a door behind her too. I want to see where that goes. But there's no way to do that without fighting these people. But, you know, they're scummy skooma dealers, you know? Is it really that big of a deal if I come in here and clean this place out? <laughs> oh, this coughing's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. If my friends could try this red water skooma, they might finally understand why I like slumming it with you commoners. Okay. So, where'd the attendant go? There he is. So, if I unlock this door, what kind of trouble are we talking about here? Whoops. Oh, wow, that broke easily. What the? Why am I having so much trouble with this door? There we go. He doesn't seem to care. Oh, he's, he's got his dukes up. Oh, he's going to fight us now. Oh, what happened there? Yo! Yo, look at this place. Wow, neat. Oh, he's going to oh, he's gonna do bad things to me. I just want to look around. I just want to look around, man. No, man, stop it, dude. Look how big this place is. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Look at how big this place is. Oh. Oh, neat. Oh, a drawbridge. Can I knock it down? Oh, I'm going to die down here if I'm not careful. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to die. I don't want to die. Well, time to fight back. Critical strike on Vampire's Thrall. Oh, the attendant's dead. Sorry, attendant. My bad, man. No, you need to die. Uh, that was a vampire. See? This, it's good that we're in here clearing this place out as vampires. I'm sorry that the lighting is all weird in here. Um, let's see here. What do I have for healing? Do I have healing? Ouch. Okay, we'll do a little bit of magic healing here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, trading magicka for healing. Why not? Yeah, these are bad people. We should not feel bad about clearing this place out. That's just me justifying what I'm doing here. Oh. Ouch. Another vampire thrall, though. Ooh! Tried to give me a hug. I wasn't interested. No means no. Spectacular piece of music playing here. Oh, the drawbridge. Look at how cool this place is. Look how big. Mmm, cheese. Look at this. Just cracks me up how I could totally have missed all of this if I didn't decide to unlock that door. Oh, that's healing. I just want some light in here. Somebody's uh, angry with me here. Where are they? Who is it? Where is he? Oh, hey. What's up? What are you? Another vampire thrall. So there's all kinds of vampires down here. Boy, I tell you what. He is... Boy, he is taking a beating. Wow. This guy's serious. He's like the toughest guy I've fought in a long, long, long time. And I mean, I've even got the upper hand, the, the high ground. Okay, he's down. Boy, he was tough. Somebody else down here. Look how big this place is. Hmm. Um. I thought I had healing in here somewhere. I guess not. Heal up a little bit. Before we move forward. Get a little bit of light. Oh. This place is neat. Iron ore vein over here. Skeletons down here, it sounds like, huh? Hey, what's up? Another vampire's thrall. It's not that it's cold. I don't like it. This is insane. That was dumb. Didn't hurt me at all, though. I mean, not even a little bit. Potion of plentiful healing and a potion of extreme healing. Search satchel. Gold and lockpick. Hmm, what do you think? Is that a door, do you think? Kind of looks dory, doesn't it? If we look at the map. Oh, that's definitely a door. How does one open such door? Huh. What's that? A chain. There we go. Nice. This is so cool. What's this place called? Redwater Den. I'm wondering if there was a quest some there, somewhere that would have sent me down here to clean this place out that I never found. Oh my. 
We got some dogs in here. They're taking bites out of me. Oh, yeah. That's what's for dinner. Uh, death hounds. Oh, he's doing that weird twitch thing. Oh, <laughs> kind of creepy. So vampire thralls, man. I do not want to sleep in the coffin. There's another door over there. Oh, we're taking that. Well, let's see. You have any good thing good on your dog? Hmm. What about you? Blooded vampire gold. Whoops. Gold lockpick. Vampire dust is quite valuable. Uh, arcane enchanter. Grand soul gem. A ruined book. We don't need that. Don't need it. What is that? Look at that. Is that just for looks or is that another door? Oh, we're gonna find some Draugr down here. Yo, look at this. Where's, oh. Redwater Spring. Well, that's where they get the water for the skooma. They shouldn't have let me in here. Should have made me leave all my weapons at the door. They really screwed up. I mean, this is another door here, here right? Well, yeah, maybe not in this case. Sure looks like one, though. Sure looks like one. Oh. It is. Steel Sword of Fatigue. Oh man, I can't pick that up. It'll be too heavy. Oh, I did it anyway. Bunch of ruined books down here. Now I'm over encumbered, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that's a bummer. You know, when I was back at my house in Rifton, I did consider dropping some stuff off, but I just didn't feel like it. Let's see here. Is there anything I want to drop? I mean, I should have, like, stored... I don't need this. Stored, like, all this saint stuff. I don't need it, but I wanted to keep it because it seemed special. But let's get rid of this iron war axe. I don't need that. I mean, I, I really probably don't need this staff of chain lightning either. Um, apparently I'm using this glass shield... Oh, the Glenmoral Witch Head. This is how I cure my beast bloodness. I don't need a bear pelt. Oh yeah, I have this bear pelt, I think. Because at one point I was going to try to make a camp, but I don't have that installed, unfortunately. Okay, that freed up some weight. Not a whole lot, but some. Well. Let's, um... Let's go uh, see what's in the Redwater Spring. Let's check it out. This place is crazy. Let's hit a five. I'd hate to end up dying after all of this. Oh, this place is neat. We got journal. Venaris Vulpins. Boy, it's awful dark. Why is it so dark? 28th of Sun's Dusk, 4th Era 200, maybe? I've found an interesting book of short stories on the pawn shop's shelves today. I don't think the owner will mind if I take it. I really should spend more time around the docks. These Altmer are too thin-blooded for my taste. Anyway, one of the tales in the book is an account of the blood spring of Langir's Feast, a fabled source of power for vampires. It is a story I've read several renditions of before, but this version should suggests that it may be located in Skyrim, in a ruin buried by quaking of the earth during the Second Era. 
Considering that my business here with Inquisitor Amalmer? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Considering that my business here with Inquis Inquisitor Amalmer is, shall we say, at an end, it might be a good time to leave Somerset for a worthwhile diversion for the next 20 to 30 years. Perhaps I shall investigate this fabled blood spring. End of Morning Star 4th Era 201. I was able to obtain passage from Arlenor to Solitude by way of ship. No mean feat with this Nord Inch surrection going on, I assure you. I ran across one of my own in the total total in the local tavern and feared at first that it might cause problems for me. But it turns out that she is well positioned here in the city and has been happy to help if I keep a civil manner. We spoke much on my research into the blood spring, and while she made sure to point out she thinks it a soft-headed pursuit, she did say that what she's heard would point to the rift. Fifth of First Seed, Fourth Era 201 After months of searching, I finally may have found a lead. While looking for a bit of dinner in the Vilmeyer Inn, I overheard an old hermit by the name of Jokul talking about strange red water he found bubbling out of the ground. Once I dispose of this soldier, I'll follow to see if I can find the location. Huh, okay. Uh, 13th of First Seed, 4th Era 201, I can't believe I didn't realize sooner. Jokul has been taking buckets of rock and dirt out of the, his house all week. When I realized that he's digging a basement, I snuck in to check if he had uncovered the blood spring. He's hit a cave system that must be where blood spring has sunken into over the years. It was hard to see in the dim light, even with my eyes, but I would swear the water I saw pooled on the ground was red. Unfortunately, he woke up while I was exploring the basement, and he dropped his torch on a pelt as I killed him. More setbacks. Fourth of Rain's Hand, Fourth Era 201. It looks like it says the runnels I initially found had passed through too much rock and dirt, but I've befriended some of the locals and we've managed to find the source of the blood spring. We've kept a low profile so as not to draw too much attention, and thus far I've managed to keep them to only attacking hunters and other dregs but we'll need to set up a ready food source that won't draw too much attention if we are to remain here. The blood spring is not everything that I'd hoped it would be. Though it is blood and gives great strength, it provides no sustenance. And the power it grants lasts only for a short while and carries a weakening of the body and mind with it. I've had to lock the door to the chamber to keep the others from becoming completely dependent upon it. When I've tested it on mortals, it is worse for them, for it carries only disease and addiction and no benefits at all. Addiction? I may have just found a solution for our food problem. What? What, he's gonna eat people? What's he saying? Uh, don't mind if I do. Coin purse. Huh, what, a, what a weird place. Hmm. A little bit of more light in here. So why don't you just drink the blood from the spring? I mean, that seems easier than running a skooma den. Who's he talking to? So. The boss said it's some sort of profaned spring. It looks like blood, but it's not the real thing. Drinking it gives you strength, but it also gets you pretty messed up. That's why we thought of putting it in the school. Okay. I'm just trying to see if they'll say anything else. Big this place is, man. Look at this. Somebody walking around down there. A couple people walking around down there. Huh. Um. 
Do I want to do this? Let me see. Do I have a bow? Elven bow. Exquisite. Oh, why don't I just make noises? That's it. That's all you've got, I heard someone say. Can I hide from people again? I don't know. Well, maybe. Oh, here comes somebody. I'm hidden. Just getting jumpy, I guess. Ah, we did it. We actually avoided them. Just wanted to try it. There's a gate over there. Look at this place. Huh. Can I open this? Is there a chain somewhere? A lever? I think there's just going to be some Draugr in there. I don't even know why I want to go in there, but you know I do. It's possible that the entrance or the lever or chain or whatever is back that way. That ain't going to do it. Hmm. Mm. Well see a way in there right off, but even those other doors I found very, very tough to find the chain. It really blends in with the rock. So we're going to go ahead and go this way. Maybe we'll find a lever or chain or something over here where the people are that um, will let us in. I'm going to try to move around in the dark. We got another gate here. And, um, don't know how to get in there. So I don't know if we've managed to kill anybody with that fire pot we dropped. Just looking to see if there's another one. There is right there. Equip our bow again. Anybody? I see three enemies there on my compass. Just having a little fun here, a little, little cat and mouse game. We just got these dumb old Falmer arrows equipped. They're kind of cheapo. The best arrows I've got. Wow, these Daedric arrows are really good. But. You know, when you compare that to the 1,121 Orcish arrows I've got, or the 2,107 steel arrows I've got. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Kind of want to shoot these. Just getting jumpy, I guess. Just getting jumpy. Sneak attack for twice the damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that dog turned around. Huh. Look at that. I'm surprised. Well, we'll just have a little bit of fun here. Oh, somebody's coming back. I'm hidden. Hmm. Need to charge this weapon. I don't remember what it does. No, I don't want to wait. Um. Whoops. 
Inventory. Elven bow. Oh, this is the thing that steals, um, fills soul gems. Choose soul gem to use. Oh, maybe this thing's full. I don't know. It looked like it was empty to me. Doesn't matter. I'm not filling gems anyway. I'm just having a good old time sneaking around here. Any more fire pots I can drop? Oh, there's a ton of them. Don't think that hurt anybody, though. There's one right there, I think. <laughs> oh, I think somebody just died. This person's on fire. Another thrall. <laughs> this is kind of fun. There's quite a few of them down there, so maybe this is the smart way to do it. Guess I was just hearing. Maybe you were just hearing things. Nice. <laughs> Check that out. That's so cool. Nice. Alright, anybody else left? Any more fire things I could shoot down? Those are very, very handy for us. I don't know if I see any more. I don't even know if there's any more people down there. Quit titch twitching. It's gross. Redwater Den backrooms key. I'll take that. I'll take my orcish arrow back. <laughs> F5. I don't know if anybody's walking around down here or not. Ooh, look at this. People who caught on fire. Oh, a dog. Somebody with nothing to give. Wow, did we really take care of everybody? It's pretty good. Holy cow. Whoa! <laughs> you don't want to go down there. I cannot believe how big this place is. A place just so easily missed. This is fantastic. Another ash pile. Just some ragged robes. hesitate to provide a light source. In case there are people down there, there's some a ramp that goes up there. What's us on the ground? A potion of healing. I like that. Got a nice fire burning over here. Uh, there's a Draugr here. Okay. Those look like they might have Draugr still in them. And here's more oil on the ground. Makes me think that there's another fire pot up there, but I don't see it. Here's an urn. Nine gold in it. Here's some stairs that go down. This place is fascinating. here. Draugr's already come out of these. Which makes sense. People be in here. Bunch of ruined books. Some linen wraps.
There's an urn. Might as well take the gold out of that. Don't make no difference to us. Bunch of thrones sitting around. Let's get a little light in here. The chest, it doesn't appear to be trapped. Six gold? That's disappointing. Nine gold. We found ourselves another gate. Huh, how do we get through these gates? I hate to think that I'm missing the chain or lever. But maybe there's like a central location where we're gonna find all of these. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Oh, open the gate back that way. Is this a timed thing? I don't like timed things. No, we're good. Alright, that's gross. Huh. We just made our way back up here. Okay. Yeah, when we came here before, there was a gate here preventing us from going that direction. Oh, what about that gate over there? Oh, it's open now, too. Okay, before we go that way, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything in here, because I kind of ran through it pretty quickly. Oh, I think we're good. This is so neat. I don't think I checked out. Oh, okay, there's even a way to go down. That's right. A little pen there. Bizarre. Huh. Oh no, this is... Actually, this is where we came from. Oh no, but yeah, that's right. This gate was shut before. Okay. So now that I'm in here... What do we get? Oh, another passage. Crap, I don't know where to go. I've got I've got a down and now I've got this. What was that noise? What is this? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Look at that. What in the world? Huh. I can't search any of these skeletons. They're not alive, are they? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, you know what I mean. Not alive, but... Oh, here comes somebody. Oh, somebody walking around over there. Oh, Death Hound. Oh, man. Filleted. So we saw somebody walking back there. <laughs> this place is insane. And I wasn't going to come down here. So there's somebody there. I mean, there's a possibility that they're like a boss or something. It could be hard to fight. I don't know. Where'd they go? Where are they? I want to shoot them with a bow. Soften them up a little bit before we finish them off. Hello. How many people are going to be back here? I'm losing my stamina. Oh, pfft, as soon as I... I mean, uh, what if he's not... What if he's like a captive or something? 
What if he's not hostile? Okay, never mind. Oh, this is the master vampire. Oh, jeez. This could be a problem. Ouch. Um, it was not a problem. Master vampire. I don't even want any of this stuff. No, I don't even want it. I don't want your stuff. You're pathetic. Oh. His friends. A fledgling. <laughs> uh, oh, now she's got some good stuff. Yes. Uh, any other friends around here? Need to worry about? Hmm? Anyone? Cleaning out this vampire den here. I can't get over how big this place is. I mean, I, I'm I'm already lost. Apparently, once upon a time, there were a lot of vampires here. Look at all these coffins. There's so many of them. They're all empty. So where are these vampires? Okay, we got ourselves another gate here. How do we get through it? Shoot. I don't know. There it is. I mean, why bother? <laughs> why even put up a gate? Oh, that was fantastic. It was so 3D, man. Ah, uh, that's not worth anything. That was so great. Soul gem. What have we here? A human heart, human flesh. I mean, I don't think I need that stuff. It's messed up, yeah. But I will take the draft of regeneration. And I'll take this few gold pieces there. Well, that kind of hurt. Oh gosh, it's not done. It's not done with me. This skeleton lying here. Who? Garnet and lesser soul gem. Potion of cure disease. I knew it. Whoa. She knew it. What did you know? Coming from that way. Here she comes. You're gonna regret it. Oh. Vampire Night Stalker. Oh man, that would have been awesome if I did the trap on her. Oh. Oh. I did it. <laughs> did you see that? I used the trap on him. That was great. I thought there were two of them though. Maybe not. Venaris Vulpin. This is the guy. Flawless Garnet Gold, Redwater Wellspring Key, Vampire Dust. Okay, I didn't think I stepped on anything, but I guess I did. Copper and Ruby Circlet, a couple of lockpicks, more Vampire Dust. Well, this is fantastic. I don't like that this thing keeps getting tripped. I don't feel like I'm stepping on the pressure plate. Huh. Another one here. What in the world? Well. <clears throat> I cannot believe how fast time has flown by in this play session. I really can't. 
So much for fishing. We found a vampire lair. We will continue exploring it in the next episode. It's time for me to end this one here. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. I, I, it's so neat to find something like this that still exists here in Skyrim. A place that I've never been after so many hours in the game. To find something like this is very exciting. I'm having fun. I hope you are too. If you are watching, let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.